Three o'clock, close. Just uh, rally up in front of the vehicles. One o'clock, man, 50 meters. Okay, I realize this might have been like a bit confusing. I hope it wasn't too bad. Uh, necessary, we'll have to re-explain this uh, some more on Thursday. But uh, I think most of you got the idea of what we're trying to do here. Okay, next thing is communications between FO and FTC. Um, main thing about this is that you're not uh, really carrying a conversation with the um, with the forward observer. You're just uh, responding to what he's saying. So in general, a conversation between an FO and an F uh, FTC or a battery commander would just be the FO say, um, dro uh, dropkick, this is God hand, a fire mission, grid, over. And I'll just say, uh, God hand is dropkick, fire mission, grid out. And uh, and then he would have to call me again if he needs anything else, because uh, in real life, an FTC is a fucking busy place, so they just say, okay, out, okay, out, okay, out, and they write, write stuff down. But you need to reinitiate uh, communications with them every time, and you might as well do this in your just to make sure that we're all speaking the same language. If you know what you're doing, you can do this extremely fast. You can, uh, this has to, uh, this doesn't have to take more than thirty seconds. If you don't know what you're doing. You can easily carry on a conversation for five minutes just to get uh, a fire mission going. So I've got to go over what you need, um, what what kind of information you could get from an FO, and what you need as a bare minimum. A lot of this information that I'm going to tell you now is something the FO can ask for, but if he doesn't ask for it, then you, sh you shouldn't think about it. It's his job to, fi uh, to find out what he wants. Okay. So there's three uh, elements of a, f uh, of a call for fire. There's the observer identification and a warning order. Observer identification is important because uh, some observers will have priority over others. And his warning order should be a fire mission, and most preferably he could start out by saying fire mission grid, fire mission shift, or fire mission polar, just so you know what you need to get ready for. If he doesn't say anything, but he just said fire mission, then just assume that it's a grid mission. Um, in the warning order, he has uh, that, and there are five uh, different uh, requests as well. He can say he needs an adjust fire mission, a fire for effect mission, suppression mission, an intermediate suppression mission, and an immediate smoke mission. Um, adjust fire mission is if he's uh, unsure of his initial grid, or if uh, the enemy is changing positions or stuff like that, then he would ask adjust fire mission, and then would throw a couple of rounds, and he would uh, adjust the fire based on where those rounds land. A fire for effect mission is if he's positively certain that this is the grid where the enemy is. Then he would just go ahead and say fire for effect. Suppression is uh, is pretty much the same as fire for effect. It's just with the purpose of suppressing the enemy, not necessarily killing them all. Uh, them all. Immediate suppression is if um, you, he just he doesn't care how accurate the rounds are. He just needs them on target. ASAP, because uh, he needs to stop an enemy advance or something like that. And then immediate smoke, same thing. We just need to screen something real fast. Got any questions on the warning order? Okay. Next thing is target location. Um, again, this can be given by grid, polar, or shift fire mission. And uh, preferably a grid. If he doesn't say that he's going to do a polar shift, just assume it's a grid mission. Uh, then, um, so phase one, observer identification, warning order. Phase two, target location. Phase three, this is the heavy stuff. That's the target description, the method of engagement, and the method of fire control. Anyone remember, remember what a method of engagement was? What? Sorry, what? The method of engagement. High, low, right, high angle, low angle? Nope. Uh, what the ammunition? 
Yes, the ammunition. What time of ammo are we gonna use for this? So that's uh, that's what he's gonna ask for here in phase three. And that's in conjunction with, with the target description. And uh, can anyone tell me what method of fire control is? Oh, fire when ready or fire at my command? Yes, exactly. He, t uh, he tells them when he wants to fire. And how he wants it controlled. Does he want it controlled by time or by his command or at the, the battery's own behest? Okay. First off, the tag description. Then... Uh, this is why you need to listen up as an FTC and decide whether uh, this is a necessary call for fire or not. So he would say what t uh, type of target do we have? Is it troops, equipment, a supply dump, trucks, etc. What is the target doing? Is it digging in? Is it in uh, assembly area? Is it advancing? Is it uh, defending? Uh, again, depending on the situation, this, uh, it, this might be something where you'd have to say no or yes to. And lastly, the number of elements. Is it a squad? Is it a platoon? Is it three trucks, six tanks? Uh, what, what the fuck? Are, uh, how many guys are we looking at? Again, if it's if he says it's just squad digging in, fuck that. We can, we're not going to waste rounds on that. But if he says uh, it's a platoon of tanks advancing, uh, okay, might be a priority target. Last thing is degree of protection. No, it's not even the last thing. What the fuck? Right, this better. Okay, we have the grave protection. Are the enemies in the open? In fox rolls? In bunkers? Do they have overhead protection? Stuff like that. Uh, this relates to what type of fuse we're going to use. If we know they're in fox holes, we might want to either use uh, proximity fuses or delay fuses if they're in bunkers, for instance. And uh, le uh, then we also have the target size and shape. If this has a significance, if uh, he doesn't tell you anything, just assume it's a circle. You're gonna shoot a. But if he uh, tells you anything different, he might say it's a 200 meter circle, or it is a rectangular target that is um, 50 meters wide, 300 meters long, attitude uh, uh, zero four uh, four zero zero. Uh, for instance. That pretty much takes care of target description then method of engagement that's after he uh, the FO gives the target description then he uh, based on that he should know what he wants uh, what kind of ammo he wants there but this is what the FDC also has him to say because if you see uh, um, FO sees a bunch of tanks in the open and he wants uh, HE delay on them in order to destroy these tanks then the FO could uh, or the FTC could say no I only have uh, only have 30 HE rounds, and I'm not gonna go ahead and waste 15 on the, of those on uh, on killing t uh, on killing tanks when I can just uh, throw some rams at them or stuff like that. Sorry. Okay. Real quick question. Nah. No, This is all. Uh, this is all getting very technical. Please advise me if uh, you have anything that doesn't make sense at this point. Okay, clever bunch here. Okay, then he need, you've got the method of engagement. This is where you get something, uh, get to decide something, other than whether you're going to do this or not. Here you decide what you, uh, what kind of ammo you're going to use. For instance, uh, as I said before, HG lay on tanks. Yeah, I have sad arms. I'm gonna use the sad arms. Or, um, or, we, uh, or he asks for a, a DPICM on a pl uh, on a platoon in the open, and you decide, nah, I'm running low on DPICM, so I'm gonna use HE uh, time instead. Stuff like that. Then we have uh, types of adjustment. Mostly, it's. Uh, a this is rarely used, but you still need to know it. There's something called precision fire. That's something the FO has to request, and that's why you only put, use one gun, and you do what's called a creeping adjustment, where 
where every single shot you get an adjustment saying for instance 50 meters forward or at 50 at 50 oh wait now we're getting pretty, pretty close you are just overshot drop 25 at 10 drop 5 there it is and now we're on target then once we're on on this pinpoint target the fo can request what's called destruction if we for instance if we're shooting at a bunker with he delay and we finally cre crept onto that target then we can uh, he can say destruction and then you pretty much just keep shooting until the fo says cease, cease fire and the the target is destroyed it's rarely used because it takes really long time and you rarely gain anything from it but if you can do this this is uh, this is also very useful um Next thing is, of course, uh, danger close. If less than 300 or 600 meters, the FO tells that he is uh, danger close. And that uh, should make you think, as uh, as an FDC, okay, we know the enemy, the friendlies are to the west of this target, so we should shoot at the east side of the target. So you might want to change the grid he gives you just because uh, you don't want to risk hit hitting friendlies. Um... There is also a request for a mark that could be uh, if he's calling in fire su uh, air support and he just need a wise phosphorus round to mark where the plane should hit. Then he would uh, then he would tell you that in uh, either in the warning order or somewhere else that he just needs a mark mission. So one round eight, uh, will be. Um. Okay, lastly, we also have some different uh, kinds of uh, fire. We, of course, we talked about uh, fire and ready and time, time on target or at the FO's command. We also have something called continuous fire. And uh, that could be if, for instance, the enemy is advancing down a road, you're shooting at the road, and you're just going to do what's called continuous fire, just keep shooting at the same spot in the road and either do that to stop the enemy or hope that the enemy is dumb enough to try and push through and just keep shelling, shelling his convoy as he moves along the road. It could also be uh, the enemy is trying to come, uh, come at you through a tree line and, you, and like uh, in We Were Soldiers where they just keep dropping rounds on the same target to, because the North Vietnamese just keep uh, ra uh, raging through uh, in the same spot. So that would be a request for continuous fire. And that's just sustained fire with the highest rate of fire as possible until the FO requests you to cease fire. The same thing goes for illumination. You can do what's called a continuous illumination. That's not as fast as possible. That's taking into account the burn time of the alum round. So if you know the alum round burns for 40 seconds, then every 30 seconds you're going to shoot an alum round. And if we're going to get really complicated, we can coordinate our illumination and the rest of the battery's operations, so... So the one gun will, uh, every 30 seconds, will fire an alum round, but the rest of the time will fire HE or whatever it's asked to be firing. It's pretty uh, complex, but you can do it. Okay. I'm getting sick and tired of talking here. Last thing, just going over message of, uh, to Observer again. That's once you uh, once you've done your solution. Uh, as we talked about for, before, once you've done your solution, the fire mission solution, and uh, all the stuff, you need to give a message to the observer, telling him what you are and what you're doing. So that would be the battery information. For instance, if we could have three different batteries with different capabilities, then you would say, bat uh, Yankee battery ready or Bravo battery ready or something like that. Then you'd say. Um, the type, uh, the type of rounds, what uh, what kind of rounds you're going to be using, white phosphorus, for instance. Then the number of rounds, that means um, how many volleys you're going to shoot. That means how many uh, times each gun is going to shoot. It's not the total number of rounds, it's, uh, it's, uh, how, uh, it's the number of rounds per gun. Um, if you don't use an entire battery, that's, you'll also tell, I'm only using th two guns, by the way, two, uh, so it'd be two guns, th three rounds, for instance. 
and then we use what's called a target mission identifier, and that's um, that would be like uh, we uh, we mark a target called uh, we mark a target. We've called it the uh, Charlie Bravo one on one, for instance. And that's just a reference both for the FTC, so he can he can look up his mission called the uh, Child Bravo 101. Oh yeah, that one, and just uh, say okay, repeat the fire mission Child Bravo 101. Or it could be for uh, for FOs saying, oh, the enemy just uh, turned up a Child Bravo 101 again, and then you can pretty much repeat that mission right away instead of having to ca recalculate the mission. It's not done that good in armor, but you can do it in real life. Um. Almost finished here. I have a question. Uh, wait one. Yeah, go ahead. And when do I have to command uh, the fire mission to my battery before the uh, mission to the uh, before the message to the FO or after? Before. The first thing you're gonna figure out. Um, Got to get the request, and then you got to figure out uh, what you want to do about the that particular request. For instance, uh, yeah, as we, as we talked about, once you've done that, then you tell your battery, get ready to do this mission, do the, uh, and uh, tell them what they need to do. Then you call the uh, FO and give him your message to observer. So basically, telling him what what your battery is doing right now. Then the uh, last, last thing in the message of server is time of flight. So, um, real quick, battery information, type of rounds assigned, number of rounds assigned, target mission identifier, and the time of flight. Then uh, you probably heard that a couple of times, that we also give some information that's called shot. And we have uh, some other words, shot, rounds complete, splash. Can anyone take a while guess what those means? Shot is when you fired off your f uh, first round to the FO so he knows the shot's out. Splash is when the round should be hitting. And um, what was the last one you said? Round's, yeah, complete. round's complete. Yeah, that's when you, you finished your, um, your bombardment for that fire mission. Exactly. So, uh, and shot is only the first round. I had, I had a crew, uh, FTC once who called out every single shot, and that's just spamming the net, frankly. So, uh, so pretty much uh, when you give your message to observer, close. you will uh, it will usually end with you saying shot because uh, the while you were giving the message to observer, the battery got ready and reported in that they were ready, and then you just say shot. If the especially if the five isn't ready, otherwise you give the message to observer. And now he knows everything, and then he says, "Okay, fire," and then he'll relay the FTC will relay the order fire. The battery was a shot. The FTC would send the message shot. And uh, again, this uh, and we don't like to talk to, uh, too much on any fire support net, so it would just be uh, drop kick. This is hard hand shot. Uh, shot shot over, and then uh, drop kick would just say shot out, and then our conversation is over. Then, uh, and then, uh, depending on what kind of mission we're fi firing, then uh, either before the splash or after the splash, depending on how f uh, long we're shooting and how far we're shooting, we would end up saying splash over, got, uh, drop kick this uh, this guard hand splash over, and then drop kick splash out, and that's uh, just uh, so. It, we have to give the splash before we uh, the impact, so that Dropkick can s tell uh, the friendly units in the area artillery coming in, get down. And then once he's, he's done that, he calls back splash out. Or when he sees the splash, he can also just call splash out. Last uh, and lastly, rounds complete. That's when the last gun has found the last round. And that's uh, so the FD, uh, so the FO knows. Okay, the time of flight was 47 seconds. And now he said, uh, and now he said, rounds complete. So in 47 seconds, the last round's hitting the ground. Okay, this is actually all the fury. I don't expect you to remember half of it, half of it, because we went over it pretty quickly, and they haven't given you any re reading materials. <laughs>